Dominic Cruz. Are you ready? Uriah ready? Faber. Fight. And here we go. The bantamweight title is on the line. Title fight. Five. Five minute rounds. White trunks for Faber. Black trunks for the champion. We have been witness to many great championship fights over the years, but few have garnered as much enthusiasm as this matchup. It is certainly safe to say that this may be one of the biggest championship fights of all time. This is one of the most important title fights on, of the let's year. Let's go do it's something. Not ever. An absolutely massive and important world championship bout. There is a lot on the line here tonight. He's got his back. Faber's trying for the choke. He got out of that choke. Half guard. Eight and mouth. the mouth. Full mount. Not good. That's Big a shot huge with the left. <laughs> Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's back to full mount again. Got his back again. And he's flattening him out. Shoot that up kid. Failed attempt. Tries the Superman punch, falls short. Both men exchanging. Oh, that's a big straight. And he stuffs that takedown attempt. Oh, oh nice big uppercut. uppercut. He connects with the head. Big pitch. shot. Combination. He is going after it here. Solid jab. with the hook to the midsection. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. 30 seconds now. Oh, vicious knee to the bottom. Man, he's down. That shot dropped him. 15. In full guard here. Oh, he connected with an elbow. What a way to work at the finish of this round. Joe, that round featured a big knockdown from Dominic Cruz. Big knockdown, very important, significant damage, probably won the round. Let's see this again. And here we see it from a different angle. Second round. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, he caught him. Big front kick. Nice Nicely front done. Kick. He misses with the kick. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Man, those body shots have been lethal. Look at the bruising on his right side. Trying to get a single. He's going to try to take the back, I think. He's looking to stay busy on the ground. He's got the full mount, Joe. He's got his back. Flattened out. He's attacking with the rear naked choke. He's got him flattened out. He wants to get one arm underneath the neck. And he got his head up. He postures into place. This is a dominant position. He's got his back, Joe. 
Now he's in half guard. Faber's got the full mount again. Big, and those big big elbows here. Knee to the body by the champ. And connects with the jab. Uriah Faber's continuing to attack that bad eye. He certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's gonna be able to see the punches coming. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Excellent head movement. Under two minutes now. Joe, that's a solid leg kick by Faber. Dominic Cruz with an accurate jab. You know, it's undeniable that he wants to take this fight to the ground. Good takedown defense, though. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Faber switching his stance. And he misses. Stop the takedown again. Oh, looking for his back. That left eye is really starting to swell. Nice punch to the body. Good one, two by Faber. Twenty seconds. Very nicely timed knee to the body. Excellent jab by Cruz. There's that head kick. Right. Round number two complete. Dominic Cruz's cut on that cheek is really opened up. That cut on his cheek is opened up. His face is hanging off. They need to stop this fight. And here's another knee to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed shot to the body. Are you ready? You ready? And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is definitely oh, huge slam. Nice take down. Good right by Faber. Oh, that's a damaging elbow. Oh! He messed up and gave up his back. It looks like he's going after a rear naked choke. Looks like he's got it now. He rolls on. He's got it under the chin now. He's trying to go palm to palm. And he gets out of that rear naked choke. Faber gets caught with that left. Push him off. Push him off. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Jab. Good combination. Oh, what an exchange! <laughs> Reversal here, nicely done. Oh, big right hand. He's got his back here. Going for the rear naked. Whenever you caught in a rear naked choke, tuck the chin, turn the head towards the choke. Switches to the body triangle to tighten down on his opponent's abdomen, then, oh, look at that, slips right out of it. And in guard. Nice left hook to the body. Oh, and he connects again. Joe, that cut seems to be a big target. Yeah, he's digging into that leg. The kick. one two by Faber. Wow, he can sense the move. Whoa! Oh, wow! Big what right a huge hand. right hand! Gets a side control there. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. He gets the over under. He finishes the takedown late in the round. Side control. 20 seconds. 
nice sweep. Ten seconds on the clock. That eye is going to be grotesque. That's the end of round three. The champion was rocked in that round. He was in pure survival mode. But then, on display once again, the heart and determination that won him the belt in the first place. And this battle will continue. Let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. Ready for the start of round four. This fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Joe, we've made our way to the fourth round in this championship fight. What do you look for now? The championship rounds show who put more time in, who put more focus, more dedication, more energy, more intensity in training camp, and who has executed their game plan better in the first 15 minutes of the fight. Lands a nice kick. Both men scoring points here. We take a look at the numbers. Body strikes landed in this fight. Great defense as he blocks that body shot. Tries for a low single. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Now he's working from north-south. Oh, look at this. He got out of the choke. Looks for the choke here. He's looking for the windshield wiper choke here. And what he's going to do is he's going to slide his arm under his opponent's arm and then pressure his opponent's arm against his face. That's it. It is all over. Wow. Uriah Faber, winner by submission. Set up the choke completed the job, and got the victory. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. Let's see it again here. Got the choke, it's in deep, and no choice but to tap. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission, and the tap. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number four. We find the winner by tap out and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the California King, Uriah. Uriah Faber is the new UFC bantamweight champion.